Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about factor by grouping. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given two problems here, and we're going to factor each one of these by grouping. So let's look at our first one right now x squared plus a 3x minus 2x minus a 6 here. There's no greatest common factor in each part here. There's nothing that I can see that I can pull out from every single one that's in every single part. So let's group them. The first two, x squared and a 3x. And we'll have a minus 2x and minus 6. All right. The first part, x squared and 3x. I see an x is in both parts here. So if I pull out an x, I'm left with, in the first part, just a 1x plus, and I pull out an x out of 3x, I'm left with a 3. Right there. Moving on, I have a minus 2x minus a 6. And I actually like to have my operation in the middle be addition, so I'll do add a negative right here. It makes it a little easier for me to see it, but whatever's easiest for you. Now I have a minus 2x and a minus a 6, or plus a negative 6. However, if I'll do both, I can pull out a negative 2 from both of these numbers. So if I pull out a negative 2, minus 2 here, what do we have left? Negative 2x divided by a negative 2 is a positive x. Negative 6 divided by a negative 2 is a positive 3. And this now we have, well, this is great, x plus 3 and an x plus 3. We see in our parentheses we have the same exact term here. So what I'm actually going to do is pull out the x plus 3 from both parts. Remember, we got multiplication going here, and then we have a subtraction separated into. So I imagine pulling out an x plus 3 from both of these parts to go here, and then we're multiplying, because we're pulling it out, right? to this, right here, we have an x minus a 2 left over that gets multiplied. And now we factored our first expression by grouping and got an x plus 3 times an x minus a 2. Alright, let's go dive into our second example. We have 6x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 2. And we notice that there's no greatest common factor in each, really, part of this expression. So we're going to have to group it. That's this problem. We have 6x squared minus a 3x. Let's group that. And we have minus 4x plus a 2. And let's group that as well. Our first one. What's in 6 and 3? Well, I can pull out a 3. It's in both parts there. And then we have an x squared and an x. x is in both of those, so we have an x here. So we're going to pull a 3x out of both of these terms. 6x squared divided by a 3x gives me a 2x left over. Negative 3x, pull out a 3x, we just have a minus 1, really, left over here. Now the second problem here, again, we have another negative issue. We have minus a 4x. I'm going to write this as plus and negative because that's how I like to see it. Well, I want to have, whenever I pull out the inside to look like a 2x minus 1, we can see before that was very beneficial. And so what I'm going to do here is, if I pull out a negative 2, it's going to be a little difficult, negative 2 from both parts, I can do that. Minus a 2 here, and if I pull that out, the first part, negative 4x, divided by a negative 2 is a positive 2x, lines up here, and then watch this, a positive 2 divided by a negative 2 is a negative 1. And we can see we got our match right here. So just like before, we're going to pull out a 2x minus 1 from both parts here. So we have a 2x minus 1. I pulled that out. And then we multiply that by what's left over, the 3x minus a 2. And so the answer for our second example is 2x minus 1 times a 3x minus 2. I hope you learned something here on how to factor by grouping. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.